guys welcome back to a brand new video now i wanted to make a um video about the latest leaked characters i've wanted to make one for quite a while and i finally had a chance to get into it so it's gonna be a quick video just discussing the next character to come the next leaked character so i want to give a huge shout out to cookie kermit for giving me all the leaked information here and this is basically he so he he data mines the game which is there's nothing wrong with doing this but he just sees what's been added into the game so you can see here the lines of code or whatever you want to call it have been added and we can see his skills and this is most likely going to be final there might be a, f a few small tweaks but about 80 percent of the time nothing normally changes so i wanted to break this down and see what it's going to be like and it's quite exciting to know we've got another new character coming soon from the kim possible universe so his his main skill is evil laugh the doctor laughs menacingly he's just standing there menacingly um, silencing enemies for X amount of duration and decreasing the attack and movement speed of enemies who are not charmed. But that's quite cool by X amount of percent. The effectiveness of this slow decreases by every second. Ooh, that's new. We've never had anything like that. This is going to silence enemies and the enemies that are not charmed will be slowed and have their attack speed decreased. So that's quite cool. So if an enemy's charmed, they'll be silenced. If the enemy's... Oh no, I know, I'm sorry. What I think it's saying is anyone who isn't charmed will be slowed and decrease attack speed. Because it says silencing enemies for X amount of seconds, decreasing the attack movement speed of enemies who are not charmed. Yeah, so it basically works on everyone who isn't charmed because if someone's charmed, you wouldn't want to make them worse because they're fighting for you on your team. So I, I actually think that's quite cool that it doesn't just blanket wipe the whole enemy team because it is quite important that you don't want to nerf someone that you have got charmed or they'd be useless. So I actually quite like the idea of that. And then we've got um, here's the expert, it's a green description. So his green skill is called Attitude Switch. The Doctor uses an, a, an Attitudinator on the enemy with the most basic damage charming them for x amount of seconds and increasing their basic damage while charmed imagine if he if he dots that move right on say ducky and bunny um so some so there's an enemy versus me they charm my ducky and bunny his attack goes up then he uses his laser move that's most likely going to wipe my entire team out in one hit like you're going to see people drop in left right and center with that Gonna be big damage, big moves. That sounds like an absolute awesome move. So it's quite nice to see that they're bringing back a sort of character who mainly focuses on charming. We haven't had one of those in a while, so it's going to work really nicely for charm teams. You know, Nick, uh, Woody, charms. Off the top of my head, I can't remember <laughs> anymore. But um, there are a lot of Meg charms. There's a lot of characters to charm, and he seems like he's going to be one of the sort of more legit charming characters. So I fully recommend anyone who has a charm team to focus on him. So then his next move is called Nano Ticks. He throws a handful of Nano Tick bombs, dealing damage to the closest enemy and dam and enemies nearby. Oh, this sounds like one of those moves that's going to be an absolute nightmare to deal with. So that does kind of scare me a little bit. That um, I am, ha I do have very high feelings that that's going to be a move, which is just something you're not ever going to want to think about. Because um, if it's anything like Ian's firework move, you know that that's probably, you know, when you first read it, you know, you're like, oh, well, it's just, you know, your bog standard move. But then all of a sudden it kills everybody immediately without any, any issues at all. So a little bit concerning. And then we go on to his purple skill, scientific genius the slow from his evil laugh is reset to max effectiveness when the slowed enemies are silenced by allies so he is obviously going to be incredible if you have him on use his white skill silences everyone and then you have a um sorry it charms and um slows everybody down and then you've got a very very good chance of re-upping that so good so you just need to have like a team of sight people who do silences and then you have him on to activate a special move and then you're going to be seeing a huge amount 
of damage. You know, just slow, 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 slow. It's going to be stopping people doing damage to you. That's going to be pretty crazy, actually. That's going to be really cool. And then we've got his uh, purple skill. Yeah, we've done his purple skill. So it's red skill. How charming. This is quite a big boy. Silenced enemies lose energy each time they basic attack. Um, that's pretty cool. So silenced enemies. So once again, if you do have a silenced team, you can properly drop that on. And then this is going to be fantastic to stop people like Kermit special, Mulan special, um, uh, Ian special, you know, because it's going to keep decreasing their energy gain. And a lot of the new characters in this game are relatively useless until they get their special. So that's quite cool. That's quite cool. So it also applies stacks of weakness to charmed enemies for X amount of seconds. Enemies with weakness take 10% more damage per stack. And enemies can have 5 stacks of 50% more. Applying a stack of weakness is a chance to fail, like normal. So that is very good. The energy has that's a normal bit. Bonus damage dealt to science enemies is pretty cool. Yeah, okay. So he is going to be a very, very cool character. And he is obviously the character from um, the evil character from Kim Possible Guy. So I just want to break that down at the start of the video. Um, it is here. If you want to see all of the information, guys, join my Discord. Link in description. You can see that Cookie Kermit's always, always putting in leaked information here. Um, get that pinned in there. And is there? There's going to be a, a mission with Kronk and Doctor Draken as well, which is quite cool. And there's just loads of stuff going on in there, guys. So make sure you do jump into my Discord. Link in description. So I guess what I need to update you on today is. Um, Kind of where I'm so I don't really care about the bow's event one for now. Oh, free Cheshire Cat out of a free one. That is good. I cannot complain about that. Um, I'm oh, Doctor Draken is probably going to be the sign-in character next month. Actually, now I think about it, because they've only announced one, and it's getting very very close to next month now. So yeah, I'd imagine that's probably what's going to happen there. Which isn't too bad, really, but um, yeah, I'd imagine that's the route they're going to take. So let's see if I can push up in this trials battle now. I'll put Kermit in. Let's see. I need someone who's going to do a really good buff, really. Um, let's just go with that for now and see what I can do with my beautiful Kermit in the back. Right, let's have a look. There we go, so I, I put the invincibility on everyone then. Okay, so now we can use Cheshire Cat straight away. We're going to do loads of damage, use him straight away. So unfortunately Cheshire Cat died then, but that was because... We'll put the invincibility on, so I've got everyone invincible now. Oh my goodness. Right, let's pretend that didn't happen. That was quite a um, cluster there. Hang on. Why does it always lag so badly when I just want to change the difficulty down? I think it's the game just mocking me, guys. Um, oh, wait, what's it doing? There's only one away from the top. Come on. It would be quite nice if they told you <coughs> which ones you'd done. Okay, cool. So, um, ports, I've maxed out. Ports are very important. That's the most important one to max out. Because the problem I find with the uh, trials, guys, is that it just seems like um, everything in the trials is a bit useless now. Um, I don't know if that's just me, but um, that's kind of the way I see it, where I just don't really need anything in the trials. Um, Glass maxed out now. Miss Piggy's maxed out now, so I was just doing Angel as well. Lovely. So one of the most important things I want, I, I, I've got some speed up tickets here, let's get these done, was I've been absolutely smashing through the invasion um, at the moment this week, guys, as I always recommend that you do anyway, because, you know, you get fantastic rewards for it. Right, there we go. So now I go into the invasion mode. So yeah, I got, yes, just yesterday alone, guys, I got a tier 41, which means there's going to be loads of stuff I can buy in the shop now. I obviously just buy the power-ups, guys, like that, because you don't really need to buy breakers anymore, because they're so easy to obtain by just pushing a few buttons in here. 
So just by pressing this here, you know, you're going to get uh, all the breakers that you need to properly push through. There you go. Through the next wave. Another 30. I can do another 3. I have one up again. All of my cats are on level 83 now. Ian special guys on level 83 is just ridiculous. Like, watch. I'll put my team on. Uh, Goofy died. I like to have Goofy on for the speed up. Put Goofy on. Let's just put invincibility on and NGV gain on. Just so I can show you this. This is ridiculous. Alright, look. As soon as we get Ian special. So we get the speed up straight away by Goofy. Speed up again. Look. 13 million, 13, 20 million. Look at that. And you can see his health like tick down. Hit. 20 million, 20 million, 20 million. Ridiculous. Done it's like, so Ian's move is so good for boss battles. Like, he's going to absolutely be chunky for all of them. Most of these I can just quick fight anyway. Um, you know, I think I can... I wonder if I can get someone done. Okay, so I'm a little bit off now, but that's not even an issue, you know? So I've, I do still have 41 breakers. And that's going to push me up a little bit more. One more tier, just like that. That's 2.1 million gold, guys. But just basically not doing a lot, which is phenomenal. And obviously they scale up the daily rewards now, so they're actually useful, which is always quite nice. So I'm still obviously quite slowly um, upgrading my Kermit every day, guys, as you all know. I do my uh, 250 buys and get that one on him. He's, my Kermit is coming along quite nicely, even though I haven't actually really had any use for him yet. I can't betray. I have to upgrade him. So anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I just wanted to give you a quick update on... Um, the latest patch notes. I'll leave them up on the screen just in case my reading was too complicated for you earlier because I did basically say a lot of things like, like a bit of an idiot. But um, it's there, guys. Feel free to pause the video or feel free to check out my Discord and you'll see it in the pinned tab. Thank you, Cookie Kermit, and I'll see you beautiful people in the next one.